Hey, about to get it in. This is your brother Bedford, top of the morning to you. Uh, there's a few people out running, but we're practicing the social distancing, not a, not a whole lot of people. But I want to jump on real uh, fast before we get it in, say a couple things. One, um, even though this has not impacted you directly yet, and I'm just speaking to a, just a few people, um, I would be slow in criticism and comparisons of this to other pandemics and the flu and death rates and all of that. I would just pause on that because this is serious and it's having a domino effect. Um, and again, it may have not impacted you directly yet. That's the other thing. If you're not patient, you'll speak so fast and you'll, you know, you'll find that you may have to swallow your words later. Um, so I would pause on that because it, it's affecting people that I know. I know of several people who have family members who have been impacted by this. And I myself have gotten the word that a cousin passed uh, recently. And the belief is that it was coronavirus. He had some underlying conditions. I also was informed that a brother um, that I went to school with, uh, played basketball with, and very healthy brother, was a boxer. Uh, yeah, he's in the hospital with it. Um, and so, even though it hasn't impacted you yet, and in terms of health, um, I, I would pause with comparisons and all of that type of thing right now. Gather more information and data. Be, be, be patient. Um, and with that, I think that's why a lot of us are not taking this as serious as we could. We're not taking this time to prepare ourselves for a new normal. One thing I think we can all honestly say is that this major interruption, this, this global interruption has shifted the way that people will live in their home life, uh, their business, the economy, uh, your work, your career has been impacted. And the longer this goes, it will be impacted more, making the shifts for new workplace environments, commerce, all of these things are coming down the pipe and if we're not preparing for these things, what, when I come out of this, am I going to be ready in six months when all of this blows over or in 12 months? Or if it's 90 days, you, this is not the time to be 90 days behind <laughs> because everything is moving so fast. So I, that's the first, that's the second thing. First thing, I would pause. It's just a brotherly advice just pause on the comparisons and to flu and all of that type of stuff and downplaying it Two, take it more serious and take this time to really develop yourself or ourselves uh, visualize what we're going to be coming out of this what do you want your career to look like what do you want your business to look like what do you want your family life to look like six months from now 12 months from now what are the skills that I need to acquire what is the knowledge that I need to acquire this is the opportune time and that causes us to say okay after the Netflix binge, right? After the jokes, the funny videos, you know, we got to engage and study. You got to invest in yourself. You got to get into some online learning. Uh, I, I, I enrolled in two more trainings this past weekend on some things that are critical to the development of my business and where I want to be in the next six months, right? So I'm, I'm taking this time now to immerse myself in that. And not only that, get that information so that I can provide it to my customers and my clients and the people who are in, in my community and I and I'm doing that feverishly I mean we're doing that at a feverish pace so when all of this broke last thing this quick announcement when all of this broke I called my mentor George Frazier and I said we need to do something to help us in this time because I think as it gets deeper right we, we have guidance that's being presented to us that we all should be sharing and I'm speaking of spiritual guidance that's something that we have to begin to grasp a hold of but we need to keep feeding on information from some of our leaders a lot of people that I've seen have been complaining about the void of leadership uh, black thought in this I think that's a big void because I think all of the solutions are coming from other people <laughs> and I'm of the opinion that they don't know what they're doing. I think, they're, I think they've exhausted their knowledge and wisdom, and we have to tap into what God has given us to do this. And so I called George Frazier, 
Um, he was already thinking of some things. I'm thinking of some things. And so we're getting ready to start the live stream uh, next week uh, where we're going to have all of those thought leaders, motivators, inspiration, inspirational um, people, guides that we've grasped hold to for many years. Um, so next week we're starting Lisa Nichols, Les Brown, Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, John Hope Bryant, um, Dr. Randall Pinkett, Linda Clemens, Dr. Julianne Malvo, all of them we're going to be live streaming every week, twice a week, uh, some weeks three times a week because we just have so many brothers and sisters who we reached out to said this is a great idea. So we're going to be live streaming on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays, some Saturday, not every Saturday, but Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 o'clock. If you want notifications from me on where it's going to be or where to the times and when we're going live so that you don't miss anything because I don't want you to miss anything um, and plus if you go to newblackpower.com and give me your name and email I'll make sure that you are you'll have access to all of these uh, recordings whether you attend them live or not so go to newblackpower.com of course I want you to tune in live as myself and George Frazier co-hosting, again, Les Brown, Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, Lisa Nichols, Randall Pinkett, Michael B. Roberts, uh, I, oh, Pastor Jamal Bryant, uh, Pastor Freddie Haynes, Linda Clemens. I can keep, I could go on and on. We're ready to be of service to our people and provide some guidance and insight. And if you have some questions, go ahead and start typing those things below. And I'll go ahead and start accumulating them. I can't promise you we're going to get them all in, but I'll do my best to get them all in. So this is your brother Bedford. Just some words as we prepare to, as we're in a new day, new time. Wanted to make sure that you knew that, that we had this announcement. But again, I think this is going to help us to kind of focus on the things that we should be focusing on. Look, the world is sport and play. It's shut down, right? That's Some of my brothers are going having withdrawal symptoms from no NBA, no NFL. Um, that means we got to shift. It's, it's time for a paradigm shift. So, again, newblackpower.com. Let me get this running before it rains, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.